Uh, we are a 77-year-old civil rights law organization. We were founded by Thurgood Marshall in 1940. We separated from the NAACP in 1957, and we have been fighting the fight for racial justice for going on nearly 80 years. Well, criminal justice is a complete morass. We are tackling many different areas of what we believe is a profoundly broken system. We work on death penalty issues. We work on issues concerning uh, the, the right of individuals to receive a fair trial and have the appropriate jury instructions. Uh, we work on sentencing issues. We work on school discipline, which is a pipeline to the prison system. Uh, so we work on so many different facets. And of course, one of the most important areas of criminal justice that we are focusing on right now is policing reform. I do see movement forward. Obviously, we are facing uh, a significant challenge. We're facing a, an administration and a government that is rather hostile to civil rights. But it's not as if we haven't faced obstacles before. It's not as if when we opened the doors of the Legal Defense Fund. We weren't facing a legal system that was not meant to mete out justice to African Americans in any way, shape, or form. So we're not deterred. We remain inspired by the legacy that we stand on. And we also know that ultimately the truth will be revealed and we can use the laws to create a more just system. The Legal Defense Fund will directly impact the criminal justice system through legislation, through activism. Um, legislation such as uh, talking about uh, mandatory minimums or increasing the age at which you could be uh, tried as an adult or movements like eliminate the box. So we could uh, decrease the number of people, number of ways in which we could be in impacted by the criminal justice system. I think groups like Black Lives Matter are very important because they continue to remind people of these issues that it's not just people who as, as one might say, aren't pulling their pants up or not playing by the rules when they're pulled over by police, but in fact, this is, this is a system that is targeting these individuals. I've written other damn good pieces. <laughs> <laughs> and no one cares. No, no, no. There are very few institutions that you can separate from race. I mean, uh, racism is, is at, at the core of what this country is. Um, not because it's a particularly bad country, because but because it's a you know a state doing what states do, and you know very rarely do you not find a state where you know some other group of plundered people sit at the base of it. And in this case, it's black people in America. We create the world that we want it to be, and it is not to have young men of, and women of color incarcerated behind bars and in chains. Enough is enough. Slavery was a moral horror, and we will not go there again, and we will not stay there. And people like ta Coates and the NAACP and all of us have a job to do. Of course it's a problem, because it sends the message that blacks are innately violent criminal, but. We know that's not true. You know, we're all human. And so, it, when, when statistically one group is, is overrepresented in the, in the system, it's, why is that? We have to have the conversation not just once, but repeatedly, because it has to sink in. And we have to have it in groups. At the same time, we need to bring these kids together so that they see they're not siloed, they're not, they don't exist in a vacuum. This is an experience that's shared by others. But also having that experience, we have to remind them that they're not less than for having to have those experiences. Get it right.